It's an end of an era. Are we expecting one final surprise from Governor Corrida? You know, it would be kind of great if we if we got it right, Heidi. I mean, he was known for that. He had some historic landmark surprises over his his two five year terms. But uh, according to Bloomberg Economics, uh, no matter what investors are looking for, yen bulls, uh, you know, bond bears, whatever, uh, he is expected. They say he's not going to do anything, and there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, first of all, there they he wouldn't want to do anything to get in the way of the incoming governor's uh, path of determining the pace of normalization, when it starts, you know, and where it begins. No change in negative rates, no change in yield curve control. Keep buying bonds to prevent that 10-year JGB yield from rising above 0.5. Uh, and also, there's just a lot of uncertainty about inflation. Yes, it's above 4% on some of the key measures, 4% year over year, and uh, it's We've got wages, all the wage negotiations going on so far, so good, particularly for the wage hikes from big companies, a lot of question marks over smaller companies. But uh, at this point, it, it would be uh, perhaps imprudent to do that. And finally, one of the top LDP ruling party officials saying uh, in, in before Parliament that m moving, removing the extraordinary stimulus right now would be disruptive to markets. So a little pressure coming from the political side in Tokyo as well.